had to sit back for a little bit. Harp. There we go. That spawn protect? Yo, what's up guys? It's Lucid back again with another video. And before I get into the video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're new. We're on the road to a thousand subs. Be here before a thousand like subs for free. Come on, stop playing. But as you guys can see, we're back on Black Ops Cold War. And in this gameplay, I'm using the new Tech 9. But the Tech 9 is a busted submachine gun. Like, honestly, it's busted. I mean, the single shot, it's pretty, eh. Could be trash, could be decent, just depends on who you play against. Me, I was playing against Absolute Sweats using OP weapons and running up against people running the Tech 9 with the three burst and the fully automatic version. It, it was a nightmare, bruh. It was terrible. But once I got that three burst, it's crazy, bruh. And I know the fully automatic's crazy too, because I picked it up when I was trying to level up the weapon, bruh. It, it's crazy how strong that weapon is. But yeah, bro, I'm gonna show the gameplay first and show the class up at the end. So let's get into this nuclear gameplay. God, bruh, finally, after three millennium of searching for a lobby, I finally found Nuketown. Ooh, somebody mic's bad. I've been sitting here searching for a Nuketown lobby for an eternity. I keep getting hijacked. That's why I hate when hijacked and Nuketown are together, bruh. But that's besides the point, bro. The Tech 9, because I literally just unlocked it yesterday and I was trying to level it up with like double XP tokens, which I forgot to pop one. Damn it. That's this thing's weakness, bruh. It's lack of ammo. I don't really have all the attachments unlocked because I only unlocked it yesterday. And I unlocked some of the attachments. But this thing, when you run up against absolute sweats, bro, this thing is horrible. With the single bullet, I should say. Not the three bursts or the fully auto. The fully auto is disgusting and so is the three bursts. I just unlocked the three bursts. But I kept getting shredded with the single shot, bro. It was infuriating. What? Did my teammates just run past this dude? Well, yeah, man, it was mad frustrating. Like, I kept dying. This thing cannot... I almost got shredded because he was trying to go for my teammate. This thing cannot compete with the three burst or the fully automatic version at all. Like, no cap, bro. I was about to break my controller. Nope. Let me fall back. Holy damn. What kind of instant spawn flip was that? Nope. My partner got shot upstairs. Bro, these dudes got both spawns. Like, honestly, when you run up against any other OP weapon or good weapon... When you have the single shot, you constantly die, bruh. Like, the Tech 9's a good weapon, don't get me wrong. The single bullet is decent, but when you're playing up against Sweat Stack like there's $100,000 on the line, this thing is terrible, bruh. The single shot, I should say, is terrible. There's a nuke. Had to sit back for a little bit. Harp. There we go. That spawn protect? Oh, damn. Nope, not challenging him. He knows I'm on the side. Trying to focus up a little. What? God damn. Nice cover, partner. I just got target resist when I try to kill him on the stairs. It was either that or I lost target assist. Oh, 
Oh, hell no. They're all spawning behind me. Nope. Y'all can have that, bruh. My teammate about to get me killed. Or just let him run past him and almost kill me. Nope, I'm falling back. Damn. But yeah, nah, bruh. The Tech 9 is disgusting. Once I get the fully auto, man, I can't wait for that. I'm on a hell of a streak. I should have probably went for a double nuke. I'll just count the unstoppable medals. If I got 30, then I know I got a double nuke. Target resist, yo! I mean, loss of target assist. I'm sitting here trying to shoot him and it won't stick. It was that or target resist. You can't really tell between the two, bruh. That's what irritates me. I've been seeing people run a lot more sentry guns lately. I don't know why, bruh. Are sentry guns like... Ooh. Are they freaking like broken because i was playing against some absolute sweats i was playing against a five man and i had a three man on my team and the three man i don't know how many unstoppables out 83 and one you got two dudes just hiding in the corner like it's the thing to do i wish i would have popped the double weapon i just stopped shooting because i thought he was dead because i one bursted him but one thing i hate about this Is the lack of suppressor, bruh. Because you have, once you run the three burst, you, you don't have a suppressor as an option. Which I don't think there's a suppressor as an option on this weapon in general. Nah, he ain't about to minigun me, bruh. He thought I was in the corner hiding. Psych. Hell no, man. I had two people with miniguns after me. Oh, hell no, bruh. It went off when I was up top. Uh-uh, bruh. I almost didn't call in my damn nuke. Oh, let's go. Defeated. 109 and 4. Alrighty, brothers, what you guys all been waiting for? The Tech 9 class setup. This is what I'm running on my Tech 9. I'm running the 3 burst, burst fire repeater. I'm running the reinforced barrel. I'm running the 39 mag. I'm running the jungle grip. And I'm running the no stock. The reason I'm running this is because I don't have all the attachments. But once I get all the attachments, I'm changing no stock to raider stock. I'm going to change jungle grip to elastic wrap. I'm going to change the 39 to the 33 speed mag. I might stick with the 39. I might go back and forth between those. It just depends on which one I like better. You know, more ammo comes in clutch, but slower reload can get you killed. So I might go back and forth between those two. Uh, for the barrel, I might stick with the reinforce or run the task force. I got to figure out if the task force is good and see if it's better than the reinforce based off of recoil and everything like that. And of course, once I get the fully auto repeater, I'm going with that, bruh. The fully auto is insane. It's better than the three burst, but the three burst is pretty damn strong. But if you guys are going to run eight attachments for the optic, you can run the micro reflex reflex or the mill stop reflex for the body you can run the swat laser or the tiger team spotlight for the under barrel you can run the field agent grip or you can run the speed grip as i explained before magazine 33 speed or 39 elastic wrap and raider stock but anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video subscribe if you're new don't forget to stop on the post notifications so you miss the latest and greatest videos and i'll see you later guys peace